Hi everybody, my name is Annie, and today we're going to talk about what causes species to become extinct. The word extinction means a species is no longer in existence on the planet. So today we're going to learn about the different factors that cause extinction and learn different ways that you can take action to help save species from extinction. This is Einstein. He is an African hedgehog, and African hedgehogs, unfortunately, are threatened by habitat loss. So hedgehogs are covered in spines, and spines are these little prickly things all over the top half of his body, and spines are made out of keratin, and they help hedgehogs protect themselves from predators. And while they look pretty spiky, they kind of feel like the bristles on a hairbrush or the needles on pine trees. African hedgehogs are widespread throughout East Africa, and while they do have a pretty wide range, they need a very specific habitat to be able to survive. African hedgehogs need shelter, things like fallen logs, or some leaves like he has in his habitat here. And they also need well-drained soil. So if you look closely between his spines on his back, he does not have any fur on his back. He only has fur on his belly and his face. So they do need to be able to hide in that shelter to stay protected during the day from the sun because they are susceptible to getting sunburned. Their habitat also has to be pretty dry because they don't have waterproof fur. So if they get wet, it can be bad for them. Hedgehogs also need to be curled up to protect themselves from predators. They have a muscle that goes along both sides of their body and all the way around to their face and their rear end that kind of works like a drawstring bag. It's a very strong muscle, so when they're fully curled up, it's very difficult for predators to get them open. There are some predators, such as the badger, that is strong enough to be able to open them, but most of the time they are safe from predators. So hedgehogs can not only protect themselves by curling up into a ball, they also do something called anointing. Anointing is when hedgehogs find something really stinky, like maybe a dead animal, or they can even poop and mix this foamy spit that they make all together, and they can roll in it and just cover themselves in it. So they smell really, really bad. So even if an animal decides they want to brave those spines on his back, they're typically not going to want to eat something that smells really terrible too. Hedgehogs also have a fairly small home range. They have a little nesting area, but they don't travel more than really 100 yards away from that area. They also need lots and lots of ground-dwelling insects to be able to eat because that's their favorite food. All animals need five different things in their habitat to be able to survive. Those five things are food, water, shelter, oxygen, and space. And unfortunately, a lot of those aspects of animal habitats are being taken away right now. A few reasons for that are humans coming in and removing that natural habitat to take up land space for building things like houses and factories, or also maybe cutting down forests and other habitats to use those natural resources in that region. Ways that you can help prevent habitat loss at home are things like creating your own habitat. So you can go outside and plant a garden or plant trees or bushes to create natural habitat for animals locally, or you could build things like birdhouses and bat boxes to create extra habitat for some of our local species. Another way that we can help prevent habitat loss is reducing our demand for goods. So a big problem is that we are clearing out natural habitat for animals like hedgehogs to create more factories, to create more goods for us. So the more that we can recycle or upcycle items that we have around our houses, the less demand we have for more goods. Also, if something around you breaks, instead of getting rid of it and buying a new one, you can work on fixing it. Are you doing something at home to help prevent habitat loss locally? Let us know in the comment section below if you are. And keep an eye out for our next episode where you'll meet another animal and learn how to save them from extinction.